everyone. This is Abel in Vegas. And today I want to talk a little bit about the Mike Trout rookie cards. In particular, why the 2011 Topps update Mike Trout is pretty pricey. So as you can see here, I have PSA 10 prices um, for the most recent sales of Mike Trout for his 2011 Topps update. And the most recent sell occurred yesterday, the 19th of October, for $1,158. But the recent sales include the 17th for $910, $932, $922. Um, this one's one that he autographed. Um, but then regular sales, you have $932, $1075. You know, so they're hovering above, you know, $940, $922 here on the 12th. Um, so the question is, why, you know, why is it so pricey? You know, there's so many copies available. If you look at Beckett, we have 5,251 copies that have been graded by Beckett. And of course, you have to take some off, you know, for cards that have been crossed over. And then here you have from PSA, you know, they've graded around 6,628 copies. So what I wanted to look at is I wanted to compare and give you some percentages. So I looked at SGC, and SGC has only graded 90 of these cards. 25 have been gem and tens, which are 28%. SGC 9.5s, only four exist. And then in an SGC 9, 35 have been graded, which is 39%. The population for BGS is 52.51 of which 25 have been graded the black label 10, which equivalents to 0.48% of the population. Pristine 10s, um, 211, which is 4%. Gemin 9.5s, 3,533 copies, which is 67%. And Mint 9s, a little over 1,000 copies, which equals 20%. So again, with there's 30... 35, 33 in Gemini 9.5s for BGS. Then if you go over to PSA, their total population is 6,628, of which 4,400 have been graded a PSA 10, which is 68% of the population. In PSA 9, you have 1,135, which is 20%. So that total is 11, that, so the total graded between these three companies is shy, um, just right under 12,000 copies. But the question that I have again is, why is this card so pricey? Now, when you compare that to uh, one of his other rookie cards, so if you go back here, you have the 2011 Prime Cuts. Um, that card is only limited to 99 copies because it's serial numbered. So that means that only up to possibly 99 people can own this card. SGC has not seen any um, of these cards, so nobody has submitted any of these to SGC. BGS does have 10 in their pop report, of which zero are black labels and zero are pristine 10s. They do have three that are gem and 9.5s, five that are mint nines, and two that are BGS 8.5. Then you have with PSA, there has been a total of 24 of these prime cuts that have been graded by PSA, of which two are PSA 10s, 11 are PSA 9s, five have been graded PSA 8.5s, and six have been given the PSA 8 designation. So that leads me to my second pickup for the Mike Trout rookie card PSA registry. My first pickup, if you remember, was the 2011 Playoff Contenders, number 17. This I picked up at the National. And my second pickup is the 2011 Playoff Prime Cuts, Mike Trout, in a Mint 9. This is just a beautiful card. This one is serial numbered 58. 
out of 99. Just a beautiful card. So I'm very happy to be able to add this to the collection. And I decided to get this one over um, the update only because I feel that, I don't know, for some reason I feel that it's overpriced knowing how many copies exist. So to be able to pick up the one that only um, 99 copies is available, um, I felt that at this time, for me at least, that was a better choice than the update. So thank, thanks guys for watching. And here's a small clip of the unboxing. Enjoy. Catch you on the next one. Definitely stunning. Stunning, stunning card. Awesome. Here's the back. Number 58 of 99. Great, great mail day. Great addition to the personal collection.